Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a railway bridge in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's go into rendering, view image file and let's open a reference over here. We can model such kind of a bridge over here. So before we start, we'll be creating a base over here. So how we are going to start over here is like let's take a plane over here very first of all let's take a plane so we are going to create a base over here so how we are going to create a base let's go into this spline and let's take a circle over here let's just resize this circle after you resize this over here let's go into the modifier and let's give a modifier called extrude let's slightly just push it up right click convert to editable poly go into the polygons and let's give a bit of inset to it and now let's just extrude it up so we can slightly extrude this up after you have extruded this up now what I can do over here is like I can use a bit of bevel over here I can use a bevel so beveling can be done over here so you can easily use a bevel after using this bevel over here you can increase this bevel you can slightly and after that let's give again extrude over here and let's click ok so once you're done with this, you can slightly just push it over here in this way. After that, I can go into this and I can go into the modeling over here. And I can slightly use a swift loop over here. Let's use a swift loop let's go into the edges ring it control and click on this polygons and let's extrude it by local normal and click ok so now what i'll be doing over here is like i'll be slightly pushing this up let's go to the top view over here and again i will go into this and i will create a circle and I will scale this circle in this manner. So after you have scaled this circle, I will go into this and into the AC extended, I will just make a basic railing over here. So once you have uh, created a railing over here, once you have created a railing, we can make it to round or square or whatever and pick a railing path let's click on this railing path and increase its segments over here depth round you can just increase decrease this stuff height you can reduce it this all this stuff can be done you can use this pickets over here We can go into this and if we increase the post you can just increase its post and slightly we will just push it up so if you want you can go with that you can reduce its height and you can reduce its width also also reduce its depth and width that's it so let's, uh, you can slightly scale this from all of its sides. Okay. So now, what I can do over here is like into this post, you can definitely reduce its width and all this stuff that can be done. A bit. You can slightly scale. Alright. So let's 
push it up a bit over here so now uh, we have just slightly created this created a pillar over here let's just push it up in this way let's go over here and we'll be creating such stuff for this so for that let's go into this line again let's go into this line and let's slightly create this stuff over here in this way and close this so after that you can slightly push this down and you have a modifier called extrude let's just slightly give a extrude modifier and you can slightly just push it down for that so if you look at it properly we can increase this extrusion amount over here this is for the base part over here if you want to create it you can go with that so now what I'll be doing is like uh, I'll just slightly extrude this till here in this way I'll go to the top view over here into the top view I'll just take a line over here which is totally passing this area I'll just draw a line I'll put this line up and I'll go into the modifier and we have if you want to use a modifier you can use a modifier or if you just want so we have a modifier called a sweep modifier let's go into the sweep modifier and let's make it as a uh, we can give it as a tube or something or channel or bar or something whatever so you can make in that way if you want to make if you want to show that to be it should be closed over here you can show it closed also over here that can also be done over here so for that you can also create a rectangle also so instead of that what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be taking a rectangle over here I'll be slightly dragging a rectangle and into that rectangle I'll give a extrude modifier and I'll slightly just push it till here in this way so once you have uh, pushed this stuff over here so you can easily reduce it if you want to reduce it you can slightly just reduce that stuff so this is a for an example over here now we can go to any of the views over here we can go into the any of the views over here and now what we'll be doing is like I'll again go into the line tool over here and if you want that it should be uh, connected in this way you can make sure that it is connected perfectly Now we'll extend it till here at least okay. So I can slightly select this part and drag it till here. I'll select this and if you want some extrusion more you can increase the extrusion area till here. Now, after that, let's select this part. You can save your file once. You can save your file once. And if you want, I can directly go into rendering, enable in viewport, and make it rectangular. So that's also a possible way uh, which you can 
use over here I can increase its uh, length and width so whatever is a best way possible out we can use that so let's reduce this let's reduce its length a bit over here drag it over here go into this view over here and slightly just push it more inside after that what I can do over here is like if you want that if you want this details I can easily convert to poly I can use this edges over here and let's give some connects over here in this way so let's select this select this over here let's give a bit of inset just give inset over here and slightly extrude it extrude it inside and click ok so such details can also be generated in this way so now what I can do over here is like wherever you have joints you can use it or else I will again go into this and I can go into the line over here and simultaneously I will make such stuff over here in this way. so slightly just push it up that's it so extrude it just give one extrude over here slightly push it over here duplicate it over here in this way so you can go into this view and slightly adjust it accordingly so now once it is done you can go into this view again over here and again let's use a line over here enable in viewport and reduce this so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here So please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial